Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back and thanks for joining me. So I'm taking a little break from a Dutch pour and I'm going to be doing some blooms um, using the Shelly art technique. A lot of you may or may have not seen the um, wooden boxes that I had made. If not, um, check out video number 165. It was my live Q&A. And somewhere in that video, I show you guys some uh, boxes I have been working on, trinket boxes. So I'll show you really quick. So um, here's the box with the lid on it. Okay, I've gone ahead and taken the screws out of the back, the hinges and then the front. And I have taped the entire um, piece of the lid. So the sides and the bottom. So when I did the other boxes, I made the mistake of not taping this part and I only taped the sides. Believe me when I tell you, tape every part that you do not want paint to touch because believe me, paint will go where you don't want it to. So take the time and tape the sides and the bottom, okay? So I have, uh, I'll do three or at least try to do three lids, three separate. I have a fully rounded kind of square, a square square and then part square, part rounded edge, okay? And then these are lids for my canisters. Again, if you wanna see what the canisters look like, you can find it in video number 165. I do show them there. So again, I have taken the tape, I have taped around the canister and along the entire bottom because trust me, you do not want any paint on the metal part, bottom part of that canister, all right? So I'm just using my little shot glasses here to hold up my pieces. If you want to know about my recipe for the bloom technique, please check out video number 131. There is a full, full tutorial on all the materials I use, how to mix them, how to use them. And so my materials are all based in Canada, since I am in Canada, my materials are for Canada. Now, if you are in the US and you can't get my exact materials, you can check out um, Tammy Anderson. She too um, does the bloom technique and has quite a few video tutorials on her YouTube channel. Um, I will do my best to remember to post her link in the description below and for the Americans, you can check out her channel. And if you're in Ireland or the UK, you can check out Erica Hughes. She's got her version with her ingredients for if you live out and about over there. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through the ingredients and all that because it's just gonna be way too time consuming. And uh, like I said, check out video number 131, complete full, full tutorial, okay? So uh, let's see, for this one I'm gonna do, everyone loves blues, so I'm gonna use some blue and turquoise and maybe some dioxazine purple and uh, let's see, I don't know. I'm just taking a stab at these things. All right, so let's start with, first I'm gonna put down a little bit of pillow paint, that's what they call it for the base, just here in the middle. Okay, and I am going to add turquoise first, like so. I love these little squeeze bottles. I got them from uh, Amazon. You can also find those listed in my Amazon shop. All right, this one is, I don't even know. Oh, I lied, this one is green blue by uh, Amsterdam. This one would be iridescent green, no, iridescent blue green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. And finally, we've got dioxazine purple. All right, so dioxazine purple. And now followed by my cell activator Alrighty. It's been a long time since I've done a bloom, guys. So, all right, so there you have it. Okay, I'm gonna give it a blow and hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I will do my best not to 
put my big head in the way. All right, so I've blown it out and that's what it looks like, okay? Some people think you have to wait like minutes for the center to, I guess, unstick itself from the bottom because I literally blew on top. Some do, some don't. I don't, I do not wait. Um, I just start tilting. So I'm going to start tilting this and see what happens. So I think I should have had a little bit more of the pillow paint on the base, but it's moving. So that's all that matters. All right. I don't care if it goes along the edges or not because they are taped and I'm going to be peeling that off anyway. So once this is all dry, it will get um, a coat of resin on it. So there you go. It's uh, stretching quite nicely. I'm trying to keep my eye on the camera, make sure you guys are in focus and view. So I will put a coat of uh, resin on top once it's dry. And then I will, I don't know if I'm going to um, stain the box or if I'm just gonna leave it natural. I might just leave it natural and then put um, some polycrylic around with a brush just to give it uh, the wood a nice touch to it. All right, see here's the thing with this technique. It's a, a very slow process because of the pillow paint. Um, I guess I could have or should have added a little more just to help move it along. So let me just add some like so. So with this technique, you do use a lot of the pillow paint. Like I mean a lot of it. If you wanna make it move quicker, you add a little more, at least that's what I do. So there you go, sorry, I keep forgetting you guys aren't. And then you can also just, this is what I do to get it to move along. So there we go, it's on that side. And now we shall move to the final corner. I'm loving these colors, I love dioxazine purple. It is super, super neat. Look at that, look how pretty that is. So, Let's move this along. Oh, I should get it down here too. All right, let's work on this bottom corner first. See, I don't think I'm gonna do all of these pieces because that'll be a really long video. So I'll do this one and then I'll do the uh, top of the canister and then I'll work on the rest off camera because this is a very slow, slow process. Believe me, extremely slow process. So what's new with you guys? <laughs> I feel like we could sit and have a coffee while we wait for this thing to uh, make its way down. All right. Almost there, guys. And then you got to bring it back to the center, right? So like I said, you could just dab it with your finger and help it along. So there you go. I've got it all covered and now I'm just going to bring it back down to the center and I'll show you this is why it's important to tape everywhere because you never know where your hands are going to get right all right so and there you have it it's uh super pretty I'm really liking the colors a lot look at that okay so let me see anything that needs fixing Bring it just a little bit more to the center and that's it just like that okay super pretty super shimmery uh let's see where should i put this i will move this one and i will put this one here to dry all right so let's do um a canister top a lid so let's bring this one over all right so before I pour my white, let me think about my colors. I really did like those colors. Actually, I might do the same ones 
on the canister set on the other one but let me choose a different set of colors so you guys can see something different so let's use some phthalo green some phthalo blue um and uh no let's see i think i think this is well this is magenta deep magenta uh no take, i don't know see and this is one of the really really hard parts about this is trying to figure out color combinations that will actually work because not all of them will work okay that's the problem all right i'm gonna try some yellow i don't even know if that's even gonna work i might even change my mind by the time i even get to the colors i don't know I did so many coasters over the Christmas break. I did like 25 sets. And let me tell you, it was like the hardest thing trying to think of color combinations and trying not to repeat the same ones because I wanted them all to be different, right? But it's not, it's not that easy coming up with color combos. Oh, you know what? I'm going to take the green out. I'm just going to use this yellow. It's probably like cadmium yellow light hue or something. I'm not even sure. I don't even keep track. That was actually a lot of yellow for this little round. I'm not even paying attention. Um, all right, I will do the phthalo blue, which of course I'll get green, and this magenta. All right, I hope that turns out. If not, I'll just scrape it, no big deal. It's a small surface. I will not worry about wasting that little bit of paint. All right, so here we go. This is what it looks like. All right, let's uh, blow it. So, all right, so I can see some green already in there. Since I already blew this way, I might as well just tip it off the edge like so, and then come back down this way. Yeah, definitely some green going on, obviously. Mixing the blue with the yellow, which is kind of neat. Let me tilt it over the edge there and then come back. Oh, are you guys even in camera angle? I never, ever remember that. All right, let me bring it. I might redo this one. I'm liking the colors, but uh, I don't think I added enough cell activator. Um, we'll see. Let me just tilt it some more. But if not, I'm going to redo it. Same colors, but I'm going to try and do a better job. Um, let's see here. Let's just wait for this to move its way down and see what we get. Come on. All right, let me go back this way. It's, it's, the colors are nice. I need to get rid of that white there. I hate that. So it's a good thing this whole thing is covered because I'm getting paint everywhere. All right, let's see if I can get rid of this white spot because I do not like that there moving nice and quick that's good all right there we go all right so that got rid of it I'm actually kind of liking this look at this that's really neat I like it I like that the cells look at these uh green see those green cells right i don't want to touch it but that's pretty neat i like this one that's really neat all right i'm going to do another one i'll put this one here like so and then what i'll do is I'll move these three little cups over here so that when I'm done this one, I can place this guy here. All right, so let's do one more. And let's use some hot pink, shall we? Let's uh, 
see what hot pink we can get out of hot pink. Actually, I know um, what colors did I see the other day and I really, really liked. I saw someone do some really cool colors. Green, purple, and yellow, I think. Oh, that's what I did there. Duh. I know I did blue, but um, let's see. Just going to add a little more here. I'm never afraid to waste pillow paint. Like, I mean, it's not like the cheapest thing in the world, but like, I mean, what do I pay? I pay 25 bucks for a big can. So whatever, it is what it is. If you want it to work out, then you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so neon pink with dioxazine purple. And I'm going to finish it off with, ooh, pretty colors. Look at that. Uh, with the iridescent blue-green. So let's go neon pink. That's nice. Dioxazine purple. All right. And... Wow, that is pretty. All right, get my cell activator. There we go. And this is what it looks like. Pretty, pretty. All right, let's blow it out. So there you have it. And now let's tilt it. And see, I don't really wait at all for the center to come up. I know a lot of people do. I, honest to goodness, do not have patience for that. And I don't seem to have a problem with it. So I don't bother. Oh, I'm loving this one. This one's neat. I got some really good webbing going on on this one. All right, let me bring it back. A little bit to the center and then I'm gonna get rid of uh, the white that is down here so get rid of it there bring it oh no I didn't get it all the way there we go now I'm gonna bring it back to the center this one's nice I'm liking this one a lot and it's moving so quick because I put a lot of, of the pillow paint. How pretty is that? I like that one. I'm trying to get the light in there. There we go. So I'm really liking this one. That one's really cool. Let's see. What time is it? Or how much time have I been recording? Let's, let me just try and get this back in the center. That one's pretty. That one's really nice. What am I at? 18 minutes? Okay, I'll do one more real quick. I'll do this one. See, and this is what I mean. So you see that? Because I put it on these cups and I dripped paint on it, this is what, I, what happened to me with my other ones. So that's why I learned my lesson and I tape like the whole thing. All right, so I'm really liking the neon pink. Man, that one turned out awesome. I love that one. And the funny thing is I used blue and all I got was green because yellow and blue make green. So let me flood this one real quick and let me try and think about what colors I'm gonna use. And guys, um, whatever you do, please use gloves doing this because this pillow paint stuff, like this actual house paint, is really hard to get off your hands and your fingers and your nails and all that um, if you do get it on your hands. It's not like your acrylic paint from pouring and flip cupping and Dutch pours. Um, you know, that stuff comes off really easily, but this stuff does not, believe me. Um, it doesn't come off very easily. And you don't wanna have to sit there scrubbing your hands either, right? Okay, so air bubble. Um, what air bubble? <laughs> what colors? Like, I mean, that turned out awesome. That turned out really, really awesome. And I think I'm gonna do it again on a bigger scale because uh, 
that is just gorgeous. I love that. Um, it's a good thing I'm recording because I have no idea what colors I used. I did, yes, I did the blue, the yellow, and magenta. But instead, I'm going to change it up and use, I think this is deep violet. Okay, so I'm going to do that. So let me add some pillow in the center, which will help it flow easy. I got some gunk here on the tip. Here we go. All right, so we need yellow, which I'm running out of. All right, yellow, the blue, which will make green and I will use, it's either deep violet or prism violet. I can't remember. I don't have these labeled because there's no point because I get them covered in paint and you'll never see the label anyway. So I don't bother to put labels on them. All right, cell activator. So here you go. There you have it. Let's blow it out. So there you go. Now the thing is a lot of people can't blow too much. They get dizzy. Um, it is tough. It is hard. Um, and yes, you know, you can get lightheaded. So please be careful when, when blowing because, you know, you don't want to pass out. Um, so try using a hair dryer. Try using the mini blower, you know, the world's smallest blower from my previous video. video. You can try using that. Use a straw. I don't know. Um, just don't pass out trying to blow, um, you know, because it does require a lot of blowing. All right. Oh, I'm loving this. Love, love, love this. I love this color. This is so neat. Oh, the lacing. See, it's all about the blow too. If you don't blow it properly, it's not going to work. Okay. So, you know, while I'm tilting this, let me, let me mention one thing. I get a lot of people who email me and say, oh, you know, I'm doing the bloom technique and, you know, I'm not getting it right. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm not getting cells. I can't stretch it, yada, yada, yada. And my first question um, to anybody who messages me is, are you using the exact same materials I'm using? Because I only know what works for me in Canada. I've never used any of the American stuff. I don't use, like, I know this is what works for me. These are the materials that work for me. And that's all I know. So if you're not using the same materials as me, I really can't help you. I, I like, I hate to say it, but I really can't help you because I don't know what all the other materials are that Tammy Anderson's using or other people are using. And the thing is, you know, I'll get the people, people will reply and say, oh yeah, I'm using the exact same stuff, the exact same as you. And then I say, well, okay, well, can you send me a picture of all the stuff you're using? And they do. And lo and behold, it's not the exact same stuff I'm using. So when I mean the exact same stuff, like it literally has to be the exact same stuff. The second you substitute one ingredient for something else, you ruin the entire chemical balance of, you know, the whole bloom, I guess, technique, you can call it. It really messes with the chemicals and, you know, something won't mix right with the other because it's just different. So believe me when I tell you one different ingredient changes everything. So check out, like I said, check out my video 131 for the full bloom recipe but again it's for Canadians um, and you could always check out Tammy Anderson for the American recipe 
Oh my gosh, look at this thing. How awesome is this? I love it. This is so cool. Look at that. Look at those green cells at the bottom. Oh, this is so neat. I really love this. Okay, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I won't do the other ones because, like, I mean, it's already 25 minutes. So um, I hope you like this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing these lids that I'm making. So if you are interested in any of these, um, I will be posting them uh, on Etsy once they are, oh, I can't even get my gloves off. Once they are on um, dry and completed with resin and all that, I will show you guys the results of how they look when they're dry with resin. All right, so until then, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'll be back with another Dutch pour in my next video. Um, so until then, please subscribe. I would really, really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Um, and don't forget to hit the uh, like button and the subscription button and the notification bell. That's what I was trying to tell you. Actually, let me bring you guys down for a close up. I forgot. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So as I was saying, so here is the purple one with the neon pink and the blue. And then this one turned out really, really cool. Look at those cells and the webbing. And then we have the purple and blue. Actually, it's more on the turquoise side like this color, but for some reason my camera will not pick up that color with, I don't know why. And then we have this one, which is really neat as well. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to check out all my links in the description below, social media, Amazon, PayPal, for anyone who'd like to donate to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. So that's it for now, guys. Um, have a good day. Have a good night. Don't forget to check out Juno's YouTube channel. Please head on over. Um, the link is in the description below, or you can just search Juno the Husky and uh, you can check him out. Please subscribe to his channel. I'd really appreciate it. So that's it for now, guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll catch you guys soon. Take care. Bye.